And on this episode, we are doing it like this again. Nice, got Hit it. BCU versus Roadie on the road. One more game on the road today. On the Roadie. Uh, on the road. Ooh, I like that. I like that. This guy's good. On the road to the A-10 regular season championship of the world, if BCU gets the wins that they need. Yeah. There's some so, other things out there. There are some other things, you know, wins, losses, exactly. draws. But, but this like, is a big one. Yeah, this is a... No, I'm not going to do it. This is a big one. What are, you, what are your thoughts going into this one? I mean, you know, hostile territory. Rody. I think Rody's on a little bit of a desperate mode. Yeah. Well, desperation mode. A little bit. A little yeah. bit. Clearly desperate. And the what, thing with this Rody team, on paper, if you look at the teams from top to bottom, they're probably one of the deeper teams in the A-10 from a talent level. Absolutely. And they should be better than what their record currently indicates. I think they are better. I think their record should be better, but they are. They're a... They're one of those classic teams who say, you don't want to face them in March. And then yeah, the injury But happens. will they even make it to March, man? Will they? That's going to be the biggest that's question with them because injury. they have one good win on the season, one really good win, that's Cincinnati. But if you look from that win and the competition that they defeated, the gap between win, right? that, other than a Belmont, a win against Belmont. Yawn. There's nothing really there, and the games that yeah, they have really lost here. has crazy, more so right? filled this. <laughs> let my hands go. Okay. It's like in this range. They lost, sorry, but they lost. Right from here to his face, okay. Yeah, but those teams that they lost to, they lost to Dayton on a buzzer beater. Oh, that was beautiful. No, I mean, they got some bad losses. They gave up six too, points right. in 25 seconds. That was, those were tough losses, yeah. but it was then four them. Yeah. 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 Well, four right, happens right. to everybody, you know. Yeah. You know, that's right. I'm saying that. But. Just that team should be better than what their record indicates, and that Fordham loss really killed their shots of an at large win. So basically, they're going to need to win out completely and probably win the tournament to win the A10 tournament to even sniff March Madness, the NCAA tournament. They're likely an NIT team, but. They feel bad. They, this is two straight years. They should probably have been in the NCAA tournament, but they haven't been able to it's get there. It's been two years of the injury. Well, I've been too straight. They got screwed over by E.C. Matthews getting hurt first game of the season, ACL yeah. Yeah, torn. So it's I, the injury bug. Right. It's for some reason. It's Rhode yeah. Island and the injury but, bug. It always hits them but every single time. They should be healthy uh, relatively. Yeah. This one, Hassan yeah. Martin. Healthier this year. He's a monster. I can't wait to see him match up with Mo. Those two. The battle of the Titans. They're, I think those are the two best big men overall. Everything that they do, the two best big men in the conference going at it. And I would, overall, like not offensive mm -hmm. necessarily, but I was as complete say the, players. I was going to say the biggest big man is Holiday from UMass because he's open. I don't think he's the I mean, I mean best. If he I said biggest, the, I mean physically best. The, physically, he is the he biggest. Is the biggest. Okay. 6'11", nearly 300. Right. But it's going to be great that. to see guys yeah. like E.C. Matthews, Shavar Newkirk, uh, oh. Karan Iverson. Oh. Shavar Newkirk? Shavar Newkirk. St. Joe's. Saint, I'm sorry. He's hurt, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bad. Wrong blue team. <laughs> blue. But they're gonna. The point is, Man, this what? is gonna be a super Saint talented right. roster. Oh, I thought you said Saint Louis. Oh wow. I'm <laughs> this is falling apart. What is this freezing we're right doing? Now. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. But Kieran and I were as you said, and also they have another big guy. I cannot pronounce his name. It's like Cyril Levine. But he, that team, the, their bits can actually match up. With our bigs, tell me how the what, like one, one of the only team that can. can yeah. That's the only team that can actually match us. It's paint. It's paint down monster versus paint monster. In the A10, so it should that should be an intriguing match of itself, and it probably will come down to the guards at that yeah. point. With their size, they're built like a, a high major team, mm -hmm. and that length tends to give VCU some issues. Mm -hmm. So that that's something to look for. Like their record's not pretty. They're going to be desperate. They're gonna give VCU a great shot at it. And it's one of those, they're not in a top 50 RPI win anymore. So no. it's one of those, it's another risky game, another it's, hostile environment VCU has to go in where they're gonna be, everyone wants them to lose. With, with limited opportunities left in the season right. to make yeah. a name for it. And, and I think it's paint versus paint, like you guys said, paint versus paint, who can get the paint game going first? Because whoever dominates the glass first basically is in the driver's seat. And Jaquan. <laughs> It, it would help Jake, if he got hit nine threes got, yeah, again, or we'll 10 or 11, we'll or break Troy Daniels' single three-point record, that'd be great. That a, yeah, 11 uh, was the record, right? It's yeah, Troy Daniels. Yeah. Against Eastern, Eastern Tennessee. Tennessee. Yep. Mm -hmm. Eastern Tennessee. Why did I just do that? I'm sorry. Brody needs that game more than VCU needs that. Yes. I hate saying it like that, so. but they absolutely do. Brody absolutely has to have this game, and so. that could be the scariest problem for this VCU team. You think so? 
Look at where they're positioned more, more. for BCU NCAA needs rankings. BCU right now. needs it, like tournament, but not like Rhode Island needs it. It does. BCU's hopes for everything don't rest. Yeah, on BCU is probably squarely into the NCAA tournament for now. Rhodey, they're on the outside looking at. You think so? Yes. I think so. Okay, yes. I agree with you. All right, it's cool. Why don't you wrap us up, Kazi? Ah, BCU versus Rhodey. ESPN, <laughs> two o'clock Saturday. Go watch it. It's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be emotional. Bring out heart medicine because you know, I was on the road. You probably need it. Enjoy yourself. Go Rams. <laughs>